Um, my name is Mwila Muramba. I'm from Zambia. I've been here in Malaysia since September 2014. I'm uh, a student. I'm doing my Masters of Entrepreneurship. Before I came to Malaysia that week, I had told myself that I wanted to be in church. So when I arrived in Malaysia, it was a Thursday. And uh, the person who was supposed to see me at that particular time, the person who deals with African students in the university, was not around. So he had assigned Miss Dot to make me settle. Uh, she found out that I'm a Christian and she was so excited. So she invited me to church and I said, well, no problem, <laughs> I can come. That's how she came to pick me up on Saturday and I went to church. I, it was great. <laughs> I liked the message, I liked the place, though you know how it is, I think I was the only African <laughs> in that place, but even still, I, I, I felt at home that I must say. So from then on, I just said, okay, God, I think this is home. I joined the International Students uh, CG. So um, I just want to thank God because this CG has really groomed me. I have grown. I have learned a lot of things that I, I just want to encourage the international students that are out there that it's very important to, to belong to a cell group. I just want to thank God for what this CG has done in my life. I've been sick. Since then, my health has just been going down and down. It really, really got so bad. I couldn't talk. I was very weak. I was coughing like, I don't know. I was helpless. I almost gave up. Immediately, my CG members got to know that my condition has worsened. They were so concerned. The following day, Cynthia and uh, Thomas, Papa Thomas, they came to see me in the evening. They started asking me how I'm doing, and I was so humbled because they had brought cooked food for me. They brought fruit, fruit every, almost everything that I needed at that particular time. So from that time, they've been checking up on me before even the food runs out. They bring more food. Not only that, they've been praying for me. They've been praying and from the time they started praying for me, that's the time I even started improving at least my my voice came back, I could talk now, now at least I can even manage to walk and um, when I went back for a checkup at the hospital, they told me, okay, now you are fit to fly and I've gained some kilos from the healthy foods that they have been cooking for me. They've, they've just been an amazing team. I just don't know what to say. I just don't know how to thank them. I, I, I really don't have words because I was thinking being in a foreign land and being that sick, you are doomed. If you don't have people around, you are gone. But I have a family. DUMC is my family. International CG is my family. It has reflected God's love in my life. When the Bible says love one another, this is the act of love that I've really experienced. I have really experienced the love of God with what they have done. And I have really come to appreciate the importance of being in a cell group. And with this experience, I have learned to be in His presence. I have learned to thank God in every situation through the valley and on the mountain. By the grace of God, I want to be helping widows, orphans, the vulnerable people who are sick. That's what I want. 
my CGDOMC has done this for me. I want to brighten somebody's future one day because this is what they, they have done for me. That has really, really been my prayer, especially this time. Thank you to DUMC. You people have really, really been amazing. May God continue blessing you. And I just want to encourage you to continue with the same spirit. Continue with the work that you are doing. You have helped a foreigner like me. It's not in vain. It's really not in vain. Even as I'll be going back, I'll always remember you.